Hello and welcome to this brief overview of the e-commerce features in Kentico. Kentico is in fact an all-in-one CMS, e-commerce and online marketing platform. So you can manage your store, your products, your product variants, manage all of the discounts and coupons, your shopping cart, handle all of the checkout and shipping process, view reports, carry out testing and add personalization rules to improve the customer experience. So let's take a look at the e-commerce features in Kentico. Okay, let's begin the overview on this fictitious e-commerce site that's selling products related to coffee. And here we can see there are uh, different filtering options and uh, you can have faceted search associated with that. Uh, if we navigate to a particular uh, product that's in the store uh, and open that up, you'll notice fairly standard information around um, uh, stock and pricing. I can add this to the cart. I can also see some related products. There's different descriptions and I can even uh, share or check out reviews uh, associated with that. So fairly standard uh, product page on an e-commerce site. Okay, we've moved now into the administration area of Kentico and here we have a dashboard that gives us access to all the key things that we need in terms of uh, uh, managing content and indeed managing the e-commerce features. Uh, I can also navigate to the e-commerce uh, facilities uh, through this method here and I can get access to all the key things I need associated with that. So for instance, if I'm working with products, I want to be able to see all of the products that are available uh, and I can check out uh, uh, the status in terms of their uh, product name, SKUs, price, stock, status, that can be internal status or external status, uh, whether it's for sale, uh, and indeed different languages. Obviously the system's available fully uh, multilingual and multi-currency, uh, and you can manage all of that in the same place. Uh, in terms of looking at specific products, uh, I can obviously set up products into product groups and then have specific uh, items within that. And I can set up a whole hierarchy that accommodates uh, whatever my specific product needs are. If we go into this particular product area, uh, we're looking at this uh, uh, specific item. And here you can obviously give it the name, the SKU, the price, the list price, uh, the uh, department or indeed product group that it belongs to. Is there an associated manufacturer, supplier and so forth? I can also uh, highlight the image here and have that available. Here I can also manage all of the descriptions and any other custom properties that I might need to add associated with that. So this is a great thing to note uh, is the fact that you can add custom fields and specific attributes associated with products uh, according to your unique needs. Uh, I can also uh, determine when this is available from and to on the site, uh, the status of that product, um, and uh, in terms of shipping, uh, fairly standard things like package, weight, height, width, and depth. You may want to add some custom elements to that as well, and indeed the uh, uh, inventory element associated with that. Uh, from an, uh, uh, an SEO perspective, it's important to be able to add uh, specific keywords and so forth, so you can manage all of the metadata through this, uh, through this area. You can also add uh, product variants if that's uh, uh, important. Um, beyond that, if you need to um, add related products, as we saw in the uh, little demonstration at the outset, uh, there's a couple of products associated with that, and then you can preview uh, the whole thing uh, here. So it's very nice and easy to manage. Uh, in terms of uh, updating content in the system. And obviously you can import all of your products and there are tools that aid that in Kentico. Uh, and uh, if you uh, have all of your products sitting in a product information manager of some sort, a PIM uh, or indeed an ERP system, then there are APIs that can accommodate that to ensure that all the products are uh, in the system and kept in sync with what's going on in those source systems. Okay, let's move on to store configuration. And the first thing to note is that you can run multiple different stores through the same site. So if we take a look at the store configuration area, there's a number of uh, uh, facilities here that allow you to create all sorts of settings associated with that particular store. So for instance, uh, you may have at a product group level or department level, uh, all, all of the key uh, groups that you want to highlight there. Uh, in terms of shipping, you can define your different shipping options and you can have rules associated with that. So if it's two day delivery, uh, is it weight based shipping and so forth. So all of that can be built in. In terms of payment methods, you can set these up. Obviously you have different payment gateways and they can all be set up as well. Uh, here we've got for instance, credit card and PayPal. Uh, you can set up and define all of your uh, tax classes associated with that, uh, currencies, exchange rates. Uh, you can also define your order statuses. So for instance, you know, is this a new order? Is it being processed? Is it completed? Uh, and that helps uh, feed into some of your reporting. You can have different status associated with um, 
and a particular uh, store, uh, be that public or internal. Uh, in terms of invoicing, uh, you can. Uh, there's a little uh, styling facility here so that you can uh, put in your logo and uh, uh, create um, uh, both orders and invoices actually. Uh, and uh, in terms of um, uh, discounts, uh, you can uh, work from a series of rules that you predefine. So you may have catalog rules uh, or indeed order rules. Uh, and this, uh, these are uh, uh, essentially predefined um, uh, rules that uh, you combine to form conditions that dictate whether discounts are allowed. And you'll see that in the next section as we run into that. Okay, so let's move on to discounts. And you'll notice here that there's a whole range of different ways you can handle discounts in the system from uh, buy one, get one free type discounts, catalog level discounts, um, uh, uh, order discounts, uh, product coupons, so virtual vouchers, that sort of thing, it can all be accommodated. Um, let's take a specific look at uh, order discounts just to give you a bit of insight into uh, what's possible here. So here's a, a simple discount, so it's 10% off the first order, uh, so uh, that's the description. Uh, you can have a code name associated with that. Uh, you can define whether it's a percentage or an amount. Uh, and then you define that uh, uh, in here, whether it's um, uh, a monetary value or, or a percentage discount. Uh, you can then add specific conditions, and I touched on this just a moment ago. Uh, but for instance, you may want to be very specific about the rule associated with uh, the, um, uh, the discount that's being applied here. And this is a great facility for quickly adding rules into a condition. Uh, so uh, it may be, for instance, that uh, it's come from a specific um, uh, the shipping address is in a specific country, and so that's going to dictate certain things. Uh, or um, maybe the shipping option that they've chosen uh, is a particular thing, or uh, the total weight uh, of the order is under a certain level. And in all of these cases, you simply uh, click on here, and then it forms part of the condition, and then you fill in the detail of what that, for instance, weight uh, is. So you can set parameters um, uh, and be very, very specific about the rules that are associated with the conditions that decide whether or not someone uh, gets a particular discount. And this can be applied at a whole range of levels from product to the product group, uh, to the whole catalog and so forth, or in a, a specific order. Uh, you can also manage all of your coupons uh, and generate coupon codes uh, through the system uh, 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 as part of that uh, discount strategy. So uh, quite comprehensive facilities for accommodating a whole range of different discount needs uh, from specific products to uh, type of customer to order and so forth. So uh, very useful facility built in. Okay, let's move on to orders. And uh, what's important is the ability to see the status of those orders. They may be new, they may be in process or being completed. Uh, and indeed, you may want some advanced search facilities to search for specific orders by, for instance, order status, uh, or perhaps by currency or payment method or shipping option. Uh, and all of these are standard facilities uh, for w looking at and working with, uh, with orders. Uh, on a similar basis, you can look at all of your customers. So uh, you can track um, uh, registered uh, customers, obviously, in the system, and indeed um, uh, any guest customers as well. So all of this is available um, as standard. And if you want to look at the detail, for instance, at a particular uh, customer, uh, there's a lot of information. And indeed, you can extend this with custom fields as you see fit. So you've got general uh, contact information, their address information, uh, uh, importantly, what orders uh, are associated with this particular individual, uh, their login details, and any email campaigns that they may have been part of. So these are all standard um, customer tracking uh, items within Kentico. Beyond that, uh, obviously you can look at your store as we saw earlier. If you want a quick store overview, there are simple um, uh, configurable dashboard views and you can define the widgets that go within this. So for instance, you may want to see just uh, the, a list of the latest orders, uh, perhaps um, uh, unpaid orders older than 30 days, uh, products to be reordered, various things like that uh, can all be uh, viewed in this particular area. Uh, equally, if you want to go a little deeper in terms of your um, store reports, you can do so here. So for instance, you may want to look at sales or orders, uh, or, or indeed uh, move on to product level and see different um, uh, top products purchased, uh, um, uh, uh, that sort of detail. 
uh, or indeed you may just want to see you know a number of orders by status uh, or perhaps a number of orders by country or by state or by currency and all of these things are quickly accessible uh, and can be viewed as reports uh, directly from within Kentico and indeed you can configure them further to um, uh, display specific uh, management reporting that you need to see. Okay, so just to wrap up, uh, remember you obviously have access to the content management facilities and pages directly within Kentico, so you can manage all of the checkout, for instance, the shopping basket, the shopping cart, uh, billing and delivery review, thank you pages. These can all be uh, managed and administered uh, within uh, Kentico, very easy and straightforward to do. Um, also, uh, just to, uh, to remind you, you have a, a tremendous amount of um, online uh, marketing facilities directly sitting within Kentico. So if you want to do testing, manage all of your banners, so you may have uh, little discount sashes on different uh, uh, products and so forth, you can do that here. Uh, you can manage campaigns, manage contact groups, so you can segment customers into certain uh, segments, carry out email marketing, there's a built-in HTML editor, so you can uh, create the emails, uh, uh, push them out, and also track the performance of those. Uh, there's a full marketing automation workflow canvas, where you can drag and drop rules and conditions and steps and triggers. Uh, onto a very easy to use um, uh, uh, facility for creating nurture campaigns, for instance. You've got multivariate testing to test your content. You can define your own personas, add scoring, uh, and uh, uh, check out uh, uh, the web analytics associated with that. So um, all in all, you have a very powerful capability with Kentico across your content management and online marketing, and all of that is associated directly and integrated directly within the e-commerce facilities within Kentico. Okay, so that concludes this quick overview of the e-commerce features in Kentico. We've been looking at the ability to set up your store, uh, manage products, your product options and variants, discounts and coupons, the shopping carts, the checkout process, run reports, carry out testing, and indeed add personalization rules through the online marketing facilities built into Kentico. So a little bit about us, Profound. We are a full-service digital agency. We design, build, and manage websites, e-commerce sites, and mobile apps. We're also a systems integrator, typically linking websites to back office functions. And we're also a .NET development house, so we build custom applications to suit unique business needs. If you want to get in touch, please do so via the website.